Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., and I pray that you're having a wonderful day. I pray that you're walking in the glory of God and that you're excited about the things of God. And you know, I was just reading here before we, before I got my little countdown for us to start. Peter said this in second Peter chapter three and verse 18. He says, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, but grow in grace. But what he says in verse 17, Ye therefore, beloved, seeing you know all these things before, beware lest, lest ye also being led away with error, with the error of the wicked, fall from your steadfastness. But he says, rather than, rather than falling from your steadfastness, grow in grace, grow in your steadfastness and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My friends, listen, there are one or two ways that you're going to uh, respond to the times in which we're living. You're going to either cave, and you know you can't do that, or you're going to grow because you can't remain the same. We've got to move on up a little higher. And I'm excited about what God is blessing us to do. I thank God for the things that are out there. You've read them. You've seen them online. You know, people call us controversial. I don't know. I've been saying this uh, for quite some time. I don't know what's controversial about the Upper Room Church of God of Christ ministry, about Bishop Wooden and about my preaching. I think I'm the simplest, easiest to understand stand easiest to follow non-controversial preacher uh, out there because one thing that we're going there's one thing we do we preach the Bible now if the Bible and God's truth is controversial then guilty as charged but I don't think that the truth of God is controversial at all I think the truth of God is the truth <laughs> I think the truth of God is the solution to all of society's ills and problems. I think the cross, I think the gospel of Jesus Christ is the key to every man being saved and delivered and on his way to heaven. And I'm excited about God's truth. I tell you what's happening. We're seeing the world move away from God's truth and look at the things that we embrace as we move away from God's truth. We're talking today about things. We're arguing today about things. We're discussing things today that just five years ago would have been unthinkable. 20 years ago would have been unimaginable. And yet today we're talking about codifying them into law. We see our children being taught wickedness. We, we, we see uh, uh, schools, educators, hospitals trying to convince even our children at an early age that mutilation uh, is all right, that a man can turn himself into a woman, a woman can turn herself into a man. We're, we're hearing artists uh, 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 sing to the church and tell our girls to be bodies and members of the church defend the artists. I'm telling you that, the, 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 listen, there are things going on. There, there's only one or two ways that you respond to error. You either, either you cave to it or you grow beyond it. And I'm telling you, my friends, you and I, we are going to continue to grow in grace, grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And he's going to bless us and he's going to keep us. Now, I'm excited about tonight's teaching. I could hardly wait. You know, the Lord moved in a mighty way Sunday, and I, I really didn't get a chance to get into the heart of the message. And uh, I want you to meet me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. We're going to start on time, and uh, we're going to walk in the scriptures, and God is going to bless us real good. That's a revival taking place. Right here at the upper room, there's a revival taking place in the land. I'm hearing from people and God is doing great things. I, I received a letter from a, a listener where they told me that the gospel of Christ had given them their life back. 
Can you believe it? Hearing the word of God changed them. And they wrote me and said, Bishop Wooden, not only have you blessed me, but you blessed a family because I'm back in Jesus Christ and I'm serving the Lord. And the word uh, that was written in the letter said, I had given up on Christianity. And now they are serving the Lord. Oh, we're seeing Jehovah's Witness come out of that uh, cult and they're coming to Jesus Christ. We're seeing people, we're hearing from people all over the country. I want to give a big shout out to my friend there in Australia. Uh, someone uh, uh, said, thank God. For, and they called me the hammer. Well, we're going to hammer God's truth for as long as uh, we have life in our bodies and the Lord is anointed will anoint us to do so. Uh, we're sending a big shout out to the saints who follow us, saints who follow us uh, from California, New York, Florida, where people, even last night as we had our uh, new members reception, people who have moved from as far away as California to, to, to Raleigh, to be in the service, to hear the gospel, to be a part of the church. God is doing great things. Thank God for our friends down in Georgia. Thank God for our friends from Texas who, who are coming this way because of the word of God. My friends, there are people who are excited, who are excited about the word. Don't let anybody fool you. The word of God is right. The word of God is powerful. And the word of God is is for you. So I want you to join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> that one didn't go off real neat. <laughs> but hey, Bible study. We're going to study the word of the Lord together and the God of the Bible is going to bless us real good. I'll see you right here tonight. God bless you.